You're watching The American on ESPN Plus from Denton, Texas in Lovelace Stadium. Last season, Mean Green Softball defeated a top 10 Oklahoma State team. Savage readies for the 1-2 here to Edwards. And Edwards hits it off the end of the bat. Soft pop up to second. Medford's there to retire the first hitter. Let's take a look at that North Texas defense. You talked about Oklahoma State will see in the Big 12 throughout the year. High pop up right field, Molly Rainey ranges over in front of the main green sign in right center and makes the grab, there's two down. Molly Rainey, yeah, they entered the series against second ranked Texas over the week in 10th and have skyrocketed the sixth in large part to the bats coming alive like that. And Carly Godwin rockets that one past the glove of Sparks at third into left with a two out base hit. The top recruits in the country, now a senior with Oklahoma State. Chops it to third, mishandled by Sparks. Throw by Simon across the diamond is not in time. There was a chance there to end the inning. Tim with an opportunity, four homers, 14 RBIs on the year against Savage. Worm burner hit to the second baseman. Medford is there in the inning. Comes to a close. The Cowgirls leave a couple stranded, but nothing going on one hit. Cowgirls, Kenny Gajewski, he's an OU alum, and now the program he's coaching is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with his alma mater. It's kind of a win-win for him in, in some sense. Yeah, both of these teams have plenty of Oklahoma connections as this one's fouled away, but Medford is called out at the play. Said that she stepped out of the box, and that... Um, she certainly thrives in that role, but she's also of late thrived. One, two, three, four, much like that. Yeah, that one in on the hands as it squabbles out to Davis at second. She corrals it easily, and there's two down. Three-man crew calling this matchup. Smith drives it well down the left field line. That one's hooking, and it is fair. Michaela Smith continues to match the softball in North Texas strikes first. Remember when I said she wanted to write the ship from a year ago? Is that, that's a pretty good start, huh? First Skylar Savage in the dugout. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, doesn't matter. Smith fits that one around the foul pole and gone. Winning hit against South Florida. In the last time out, she works a tough two-out walk here. This one inside. Yeah, because it shows the confidence that he has in this team. They're buying in, and, and you see that in them now. As there's a swing and a miss. Strike three, and the inning comes to a close. But Michaela Smith strikes yet again, hoping we can break that record today. So this one's hit well into left. Wart gives it a ride, and it one hops the wall in left center. All the way into the alleyway. She'll slide in safely with a leadoff double. Let's see what you can do against one of the top lineups in the country. Hard hit ground ball. Simons there looks the runner back to the bag for the first down in the inning. Yeah, to that point, I, I will say I do not want to be the opponent to face Skylar Savage after an out series. And then came in relief and went two and two thirds against Tulsa in a win against the Hurricane. This one skips past Kaylee Christensen on the third. Go Perhaps a mistake or an error. That's typically how this series is played out. A sky high pop up off the end of the bat. Simon is called off by Tatum Sparks. She makes the grab and there's two down. No chance for Wark to advance, of course. Hit well over the glove of Medford and into right. Oklahoma State has tied it up at one. Schneidmiller comes through with an RBI single. Schneidmiller behind the plate today, which is traditionally for a reason. Soft dribbler playable for Simon, who comes in, charges, and makes the play against the Speedy Edwards. But Oklahoma State will even things up at one. An RBI single from Audrey Schneidmiller. We're tied going to the bottom of the second. He's, two. he's bringing it like these two squads. This one goes under the glove, tough play. At short, doesn't look very tough for Bloodworth, who makes the play just in front of the second base bag. Water still floating following that performance. This one off the end of the bat. Another tough play for Bloodworth, but she makes it look easy. Back-to-back -back put outs up the middle 
uh, to try to snag what they're calling the rematch. Chopper right side, three up, three down inning here for Oklahoma State. Sparks grounds out to first. Nothing wins for Ronnie DeLong. It's a matter of when, not if he gets those 80 wins along the way to tie TJ Hubbard, former head coach, win at the plate. Off the end of the bat into center field. That will fall for a base hit beyond the stretch glove of Medford. Back-to-back -back singles for Godwin. Back-to-back -back singles in the third. <laughs> Put her right in the cleanup spot as well. Choppers in back to Savage on the third for one. No chance for a second throw by Tatum Sparks. Or Texas nails. This you offense. One, two. Dribbler to third. Sparks will step on the bag after a quick bobble. It was Taylor made for an opportunity at a double play with a Michaela Smith solo shot in the first. This one's hit softly, right field, playable for Molly Rainey, and the inning comes to a close. Davis and Godwin begin the frame with a couple of seats for he and good friend Kenny Gajewski to compete against each other in a postseason atmosphere like that. Said, of course, <laughs> you'd put your friendship aside for something like that. <laughs> My, how quickly he set that friendship <laughs> aside in that. Stations, whereas OSU is a pretty set one. 2-2, two, two, sails high, runner goes, Cobb is thrown out at second. The tag placed by Davis, but it was the throw from Schneidmiller behind the plate for out number one. This is going to be pitch number 10 of the at-bat to Medford. Hits it in on the hands. Slow dribbler to second base. Instead of having two on and possibly a runner. To move you around the bags was my mindset. Simon rockets one back up the middle into center. Her first base hit of the day, and Simon wants to start wind blowing out to left. One, two, check swing, runner goes. This one skips in, and Simon has taken second. My goodness, Simon's jump. Off. Payoff pitch to Michaela Smith. The three, two, check swing, ball four. Back pick down the second, Simon's back safely into the bag and there's a couple on with two down and Kaylee Gamble will come to the play. Now Gamble swings this one well into left field on the warning track is Lott and the inning is over. Kaylee Gamble drove it to the opposite field but in time on ESPN. That is appointment television coming up this weekend. First pitch, ground ball, Tatum Sparks is there, corrals it. Thanks to the stretch by Kaylee Gamble. There's one pitch, one out here at Lovelace Stadium. Second pitch of the inning. Bunting for a base hit, not going to happen. Tatum Sparks on back-to-back -back pitches has two down for Savage in the circle. <laughs> <laughs> I said get two. <gasps> Chopper, it's Tatum Sparks. It's been a busy inning in the hot corner, but she makes easy work of the eight. There's seven, eight, nine hitters in the Oklahoma State order. We're halfway through regular. Chopper right back to Rosenberry, and she snags it with the glove hand. One down. A freshman, 11 appearances as a sophomore before making the switch to Oklahoma State as a junior. First pitch swinging here for Molly Rainey. Pop fly on the left side of the infield. Bloodworth down to short. Her first at bat, those two hits, a solo shot from Michaela Smith in the in the first inning, and then a single in the third. Line drive over to the third base side. Edwards is there, and the inning comes to a close. We're through four. Oklahoma State squad, top six program in the country. And while Edwards is out there, it's a testament to how well the high school level and the in her career, 0 for 2 last year. 0 for 3 today. Backhand by Simon. Throw across the diamond. It's not in time. A, a one-out single here for Rosie Davis in the infield. She singled in her last at bat. They have <laughs> freshmen and sophomore among their lineup. I mean, the future's bright. That is sophomore. Retiring a sophomore. 5-4-3 on the double play. And the inning comes to a close. Godwin retired. You said, give me Lovelace all day. It is a phenomenal atmosphere. As there 
is the put out at first. Sparks is retired by Godwin. Godwin was just retired by Sparks after that double play to end. That's that's good old fashioned softball, and that's my style, man. Maybe One, two, one. called strike, and that pitcher's duel continues. That's your style right there. <laughs> Oklahoma State will have the middle of the order. Four, five, six, due up in the sixth inning. Ball four to Medford for Texas. One, two, inside. That one skips away. On to second goes Medford. She read it off of the secondary lead and swipes the bag. There you go. Capitalize on their mistake. Two, two to Simon. This one's hit into shallow left center. Playable for Bloodworth in the inning. Comes to a close. Nothing going for North Texas. They leave a run. Right now, one of those hits was, of course, the RBI single from Schneidmiller. North Texas is 0 for 3 with runners on base as a whole in this ball game. And they can rely on the arms to help carry them. And it's a pinch hit walk here for Lexi McDonald. So. Playing off those. Full disclosure. Payoff pitch into center. Lexi Cobb has the range back, but makes the grab over her shoulder. Took two steps in, had to take three steps back to make the grab. But there are two down here in the sixth. Pitch number 95 on the way for Skylar Savage. Hard hit ground ball through the middle and into center. Two on, two out for Oklahoma State as they try and hard here. One, two. Hard hit ball left side over the glove and into left. They'll send the runner around third. Throw to the plate, not in time. And Oklahoma State takes the lead in the sixth. and it comes with two strikes. Yeah, listen, Oklahoma State bats coming alive here this inning. They're not used to pitcher's duels, like the one, the, like the game we've had thus far here in Denton, Kyle, but beautiful piece of hitting, patient, waiting for it to get just in. You still have a chance to win this one. This could end the inning. It's mishandled by Medford. Throw to first is just in time to save the frame and only one run across for o 2 2 again. Smith pops it up. In foul ground. Is there enough room? Yes, there is behind for Schneidmiller. She runs up against the screen but makes the grab to retire Smith for the first down. 0 2 to Gamble. She puts this one into center. And North Texas has their third base hit of the ball game. Kaylee Gamble finds her way aboard. Pinch runner as Emma Grauman now runs at first. Abara seeing eyes single in the right. Grauman will take off. She'll take to third. Throw is cut off and runners at the corners for North Texas as the tying run is 60 feet away. And third, infield in for Oklahoma State. She turns the bunt. Runner takes off. Cut off at the rubber. On to second goes Abara. That's significant in the fact that Lift it for a sack fly. 2-2, two, two, cold strike three on the inside corner. And a massive second out for Oklahoma State. Payoff pitch. Swung on and missed, strike three. And Kilfoyle leaves a pair stranded in scoring position. Lasaurus on that one. We got to come up with a better... Kenny Gajewski, man. Swing and a miss here as Childers retires Rosie Davis. Keep this one within striking distance by navigating a perfect seventh inning. She's got two strikeouts down to start that direction. And I'll tell you this, a week ago, UTA began to catch on to her in time. When I played, you, you, you sat some time on the bench for a few years <laughs> before you saw the field. I mean, that was typically the case. Anymore. Slow grounder to Gamble. She'll step on the bag. And we've got one more inning to get in the fifth as DeLong looks on from that third base coach's box. 2-2. Two -two. Chopper sent to the right side. Corralled by Davis, one down. Ball four on the outside. And Cobb is on. 
2-2. That one hit into left. In charges lock. And North Texas is down to their final out. 42 pitches. Number 43 could end it. And it does. Cold strike three. And OSU wins it. Revenge is sweet for the Cowgirls in Denton. Two to one the final here on a Wednesday night. In company, revenge is oh so sweet. <laughs> it was an RBI single from Jillian Pollard that wins it for Oklahoma State.